rubber band plus a GoPro and use Zeon Smooth 4. Jiwin. Jiwin. So this is the correct pronunciation for Jiwin. Now you know. As our stabilizer. This, I think, is the cheapest method that we can use, especially if you are on a budget. Okay, so how do we do this? Okay, so we now have the basic. Your smooth four is turned off and it's placed in this position. Let me just show you, okay? So the control panels are facing up and the horizontal arm is locked into place. Make sure of that. That's the number one thing you must prepare. Okay, number two, get the rubber bands. Here you are. Okay, get one. Twist it once like this okay then put it on the mobile clamp this one okay get the second rubber band twist it and again place it on the mobile clamp okay this is the mobile clamp the one that you use to clamp your mobile phone now get your gopro camera facing like this with the label hero four or five or three or one okay then slide it between the rubber bands like this okay let me here so this way now just to be sure that it won't slide and fall off this is what i do i place it like that then the second rubber band i place like this so it's holding your camera now if you just want to be sure get a third a third rubber band and place it over here like this horizontally okay like that so as to secure your gopro okay now at the back of the mobile clamp you will see this knob right here or the locking mechanism this round thing right here okay so be sure to overlap the rubber bands so it won't slide off so like that now again uh, this is just a personal preference I found another rubber band so here you are twist it again once and place it like this okay guys so here's our smooth 4 and the GoPro with the rubber bands in place okay as you can see here it looks good I also don't know why why we always do this like let me just uh, get this in focus. Okay, there you go. As you can see, here's the third rubber band right here, the white one. And then the two yellow rubber bands. Okay, so just a word of caution. Now, when you're using this, using this rubber band, since the weight of the GoPro is that it's light, 
sometimes the smooth four gets confused. You know, uh, probably should I use the word think? Okay, just let's just use that. Probably it thinks that there's no mobile phone or there's nothing on here. That's why sometimes, even though it's turned on and you're uh, shooting, okay, it will just suddenly, for the sake of illustration, I will turn this off because this is what will happen. It will suddenly go limp like that. But your gimbal, your stabilizer, the smooth four, is still on. So what should you do when 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 this happens? Okay, simply turn I turn it off, and then turn it on again. And there you go. Okay, so even at times when I'm using my mobile phone, sometimes this the smooth four does that. So I don't know if it's the weight or whatever the reason is. It just suddenly goes, uh, you know, cuckoo <laughs> and berserk. Okay, so here we are. And we have our rubber band thingy magic. Okay, the only thing about this is that you cannot balance it, okay? It's hard to balance it. Let's turn it on. Alright, see, it's working. So let's just look if our Hero Pro is balanced. Alright, we're doing great. These controls right here, there's no use for them when you're using your GoPro. So the only reason we're using the Smooth 4 is for the stabilization. Okay, so let's try it. Now, let's connect through our GoPro Quick app. Okay, control your GoPro. Let me just show you here. It's connecting. Okay, I will make another uh, tutorial how to connect your GoPro with the application. So look at it now. It's working. It's There's my guitar. Okay, I hope you enjoy your uh, GoPro and have a great day. Bye, this is Richard from Wakiteki. Oh, and by the way, if you are up to it, can you please also like my other channels? Thanks a lot. Bless you.